Hi guys, welcome to my Scholar Seuss video. This is Robin. How is everybody today? It's sunny here, 53 degrees. Kind of cool, but the sun's nice and bright outside. Uh, grab yourself something nice to drink. Sit back and relax. Uh, please ignore the dripping. I'm drinking coffee. And uh, we're going to look at some jewelry from Jewelry Jar 237. If you see anything in this jewelry you'd like. Just leave a comment under the comment section of the video and uh, with a price, a description, and a timestamp. And uh, we will invoice for it on the 1st of February for all orders that you made during the January videos. And uh, shipping's $5 for under a pound and over a pound is $8.30 up, up depending on. Uh, how much you have. Uh, normally it's about 830 if it's over a pound because I ship it priority but um, you have to. They won't let you ship it any other way. And it's a good deal. So anyway um, let's get started. I think it's the flat the padded flat rate envelope is eight eighty, I think, for me, eight dollars and eighty cents. So, but we, um, if it goes in the padded flat rate envelope, it's eight dollars and thirty cents. That's what I normally charge you. So let's get started. <clears throat> I have this necklace here. Isn't that beautiful with the chips and the beads and the multiple cords? Nice cords. They're cotton. They're waxed cotton. And then they close with a mother of pearl shell um, button, which is very pretty. And it snaps in two places. This necklace is mm, 16 inches. And we'll do it for five. Very pretty. I love it when they take the abalone and put it in that black lacquer like that. It's just beautiful. And it saves it. It won't ever chip or break. It'll always be a nice necklace. So. Alright, what's next? I wanted to show you something I did pull out. This bracelet here is a Bakelite. I tested it with semi crown. I'll show you what I test it with. This is what I test it with. And it's pink. You get a little tiny bit on a. Let's see, you can tell it's pink. You get a little bit, a tiny bit on a q tip. And then you take that q tip and, you know, do it like that. I usually do it on the inside. And if it stays pink, you know it's not Bakelite. If it turns yellow, it's Bakelite. And when I tested that, it turned a, a definite yellow. So I got a piece of Bakelite. I was so happy. Okay, let's see what else we have. The next thing I have is this necklace. It's um, like a crochet or a macrame. I think a cro more of a crochet. Very nice um, material here. I'm not sure what it is. It's got a lobster claw clasp. And then these are pretty um, glass beads. And jewel colors and oranges and browns. and Just excellent. It's a very nice piece to wear every day with your jeans and stuff if you wanted to. I just love the colors. I am very drawn to earth, earth, earthy colors. Though really, if you've ever had your colors done, I'm a winter, if you know what that is. And that's the true bold colors or the pastels are supposed to be my colors. So, the primary colors, but I still love the earth tone colors. And we'll do that one for three. I don't know if I said that. 
I think this is a pretty little bracelet. It's, um, I don't know if this is painted or what. It's black on the inside. It feels plastic. It's not metal. I know that. Beautiful copper color. Just gorgeous. Maybe wood. Maybe wood. I'm not sure. Nicely finished. Uh, we'll do that one for two. I guess it wasn't my, I thought my yard men were coming. They haven't come in a month. I, I don't know if they quit on me or not. They, they hadn't had it together in the last year. You know, they sent us things telling us we owed them $200 that we hadn't paid. And we pay. As soon as they come here, we send a check in the mail. So I had to get out all my checks and my bank account and send that in and tell them, you know, this is when I paid and course that we wouldn't know any money and uh, aren't these pretty these are wood they have a nice presence on the ear and um, they're lightweight and I think those are very beautiful we'll do those for two but um, so now they haven't come all month and I don't know if they quit and aren't going to notify us they're quitting? Or what's going on? Makes me think of a song. What's going on? Yep. <laughs> okay, this piece here is made with wood. A beautiful earth tone, orange color, pretty back. Beautiful chain here, and it, then it goes to the smaller Rollo chain with the textured links. See that? It's nice and long. Now we do have some where it's worn off here, where it's just silver around the neck. It's a plunder necklace. Y'all, you know what I found the other day? I I used to when I had broken or bad pieces, but they had nice tags on them like this. Maker's tags. I took them off and put them on a charm thing, and I found it the other day. Now, where is it? Y'all, I'm just so unorganized. I need somebody over here to organize me. I'm a, I'm a mess. Yeah, here it is. Little place I just throw stuff in. But here it is. I don't know if I have a plunder on there or not. And I was real good about this for a while and then I kind of quit and I got to get with it again and start putting these on there. That's Mark. That's Avon. Nope, don't have a plunder one. So. Nobody buys this necklace. I'm going to pull that blunder off. We'll do this one for two. It's nice and long. Very boho. Very boho. Two dollars. I love this little bracelet, though, and I thought I'd lost it. Y'all, if you saw the volume of stuff I have, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. So I'll just lay that there for a minute. The next we have is a shell. These are beautiful. I'm going to do that for three. Gorgeous. It's in excellent condition. Beautiful creamy white color. Three dollars. Three. 
next one I have, this is unusual. It's glass. It's clear and green glass with this beautiful glass pendant. Love the cut on that, and I love the uh, AB wash on it. We'll do that necklace for three. Oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> I just heard the door shut. It's on a memory wire neck thing. Very pretty. See, I told you. He's back. He said, I'm home. Welcome back. Thank you. We have this bracelet here. Love these. We'll do this one for a dollar. It stretches. It's in good shape. See? That's a pretty one for a dollar. Looks very nice. The earrings here, they're clip ons. They're enameled gold tone with the black and the burgundy color enamel. Here's the back. So they would wear like this. And they, you know, go into the face like that. That's very slimming. Looks nice. We'll do those for two. Next little bracelet I have is this one, Fatima. It's when the children saw Mary. I don't believe that's silver. But we'll check. Ooh, sure is doing like silver. No, it's not silver. It might be pewter. You can still kind of see it, but it's not a bright fluorescent blue like I'm used to seeing. You can barely see it. I don't know if y'all can see it at all. We'll do that for two. Teardrop shaped earrings here. We have these. These. And then these. And let me wipe that off before I get it on me. And we'll do those for two. Get it close up. These are the backs. They're black. Oops. Two dollars.
next thing I have is this beautiful necklace. Look at the stone on this. Fasted, rutilated. Rutilated quartz. And then I have these grays. Ooh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. These gray stones, I don't know if they're labradorite or just agates or or what. They're very pretty. And then these wooden beads. So it doesn't make the necklace so heavy. Lobster Claw Class extender with the bead. Very beautiful necklace. Oh, and the tassel is silk. And it's got this little... Um, Prong set rhinestone dangling from it. Just love this. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. There we go. Very pretty. I think it's fully extended. It's going to be 20 inches. That is a beautiful stone there. We'll do this one for 10. with different cuts of stone done in gunmetal. Very lightweight. So I think these, I don't know if they're glass or not. Got pretty cut in them. No, they're not glass. But they're cool anyway. They're very they're lightweight because of that. We'll do these for a dollar. And these are sweet. They've got the Rivoli stone, the one with the point, faux pearl, and a little crystal. Done in black metal. Here's the pack. We'll do those for a dollar. We have this necklace here. Feels wonderful sure what it is if it's wood maybe or acrylic I'm not sure just has a really nice feel it has a lobster claw class and extender but you're missing a strand here I'm putting that in the hobby lot Let's see if these uh, light up light up they go to glass or beyond no is that either wood or acrylic? I'm not real sure. And I have this bracelet here for Joy. This is a uh, ceramic pottery. I forget. I don't. Can't tell what that says on the back. Express, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sure how you tighten this. It's kind of weird. So I'm going to put that in the hobby light. Hobby lot. And that hobby lot's been claimed. We're just still filling the bag. Let's see. <clears throat> I 
wanted to show you guys this. This is a, a little bracelet I started when I first started doing the jewelry just so I could get tags so I would remember. See that? Isn't that cool? And started putting it on this little bracelet. Bracelet, it's not magnetic. Let's see if it's silver. Let's see if it's silver and I didn't even know it. No, it's not silver. It's not tarnished at all. It's got a nice finish on it. It's just not, not going to be silver. <clears throat> it's disappearing not all the way but It's not silver. I just couldn't remember. But I enjoyed collecting the little. And what I'd get these from were necklaces that were broken. I would just take the tag off and put it on there. Or you know how you get pieces sometimes of jewelry? I just wanted to show you. I just found that the other day again. So I'll start doing that again. And uh, adding to it. And let's see. Oh, we have this necklace here. Now, this is sari silk. Isn't that beautiful, the colors? And then these are um, quartz. Look at these cobalt blue fasted beads. Then you have your clay beads. And then more quartz. Beautiful. Test these right quick. Make sure they're quartz. Oh, that's showing up as glass. Let's see about this one. I don't want to tell you wrong. Yeah, those are quartz. Cobalt's are glass. And these green ones are glass. So these are glass, but they look like stone. Put that down. Well made. See that? looks like stone but it's registering glass these definitely register quartz beautiful glass cobalt and then you have the suede cord at the end with just a ring so it goes over your head it's a nice long necklace uh, let's see it is 36 inches, and then the tassel is another 6 inches. I'm just going to run it through. So you can see. So I can untwist it now. Let me run it through. That's very pretty. I just hung it there with the tassel off to the side or 
really the real way, the real real. It's supposed to be in the center. And I've got it doubled up. Isn't that pretty? That sari silk is beautiful on that. Sorry, it's S A R I. Sorry, silk. We'll do this one for 12. It's very beautiful. It's not going to fit in that bag. <clears throat> I have to get another bag for it. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you'd like to know when we put these videos up, hit that subscribe and notification bell. Uh, thank you all for subscribing and um, commenting. Even if it's just to say hello, I love to see that because it lets me know you're you're well and fine and doing good and everything. And uh, a lot of people have asked me why I don't go live, and the reason why I don't is because well, I'm not a young young chick, and I can't do these two hour or one hour without either coughing or having to get something to drink or having to go to the restroom. You know, it's just. It's very hard to do a video live, unless y'all don't care if the person gets up and leaves. <laughs> but anyway, um, y'all have a blessed day, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.